What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an easter egg hunt system in Roblox. So the first thing you'll need to do uh, once you're in studio is you're going to navigate over to the model tab up here and you're going to insert a part into the workspace and in this part we're going to insert a proximity prompt. This proximity prompt will be responsible for collecting the egg. I'm just going to change a few properties inside the proximity prompt if you'll bear with me. Once I have the proximity prompt selected I'm going to change the hold duration to 0.5 and I will also rename the proximity prompt to collect prompt. And I'm also gonna rename the part that the proximity prompt is inside to egg one. All right, after we've done all that, we're gonna navigate over to starter GUI and we're going to insert a screen GUI into this, okay? So this screen GUI is going to be responsible for housing our UI elements to track how many eggs the player has collected uh, this is going to be important for this game because players are going to want to know how many eggs they've collected so far. So inside of the screen GUI, we're going to insert a text label. You can customize this text label however you like. Me personally, I like to have my text scaled and my font for Doka 1. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to change the background color, or sorry, not background color, background transparency to 0.5. And I'm going to leave it just like that. Those are my settings, but again, you can customize it however you want. And in this starter GUI, we're going to also insert a number value, okay? And we're gonna rename this value to eggs collected. So let's go back to our collect prompt for now. And inside of this prompt, we're going to insert a script, okay? And this script is gonna be responsible for adjusting this eggs collect value. So once we're back inside the script, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write script.parent.triggerended colon connect function then we're going to open up parentheses right here and we're going to write player so this is going to create a variable called player uh, that tracks basically who interacted with the proximity prompt so we know exactly uh, whose text label to change and whose values eggs collected values to update right so in this we're going to write player dot player gui dot eggs collected dot value is equal to player dot player gui dot eggs collected dot value plus one so this is basically saying that the eggs collected value inside of the player is equal to itself plus one so it's basically just adding one okay? so now what we want to be able to do though is you want to be able to make it so that this text label actually displays the eggs collected value so inside of this text label we're going to open up a local script and we're going to write script dot parent that text is equal to script.parent.parent.parent.eggscollected.value. And we're gonna put all of this into a loop, right? So it's constantly updating. So I'm gonna press Control A, Control X, just to cut that. And I'm gonna write while true do, enter down, wait, make sure you put that wait in there, otherwise this could crush the game, because open loops will do that. And then I'm gonna press uh, Control V to paste that right back in there. And now if we go ahead and test this game, what should happen is that if we hit this block, uh, it will increase the amount of things we have right here by one. So I'm going to script this a, a little bit more, this uh, text script. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right here by the script.parent.text equals, I'm going to put uh, two quotation marks and I'm going to write collected eggs. And then I'm going to enter out of that. Uh, Sorry, press the space bar out of that. I'm gonna space it out. I'm gonna put two dots just like that. And what this will do is it will, uh, what it will say now is it will say collected eggs and then it'll say the number that we have collected, right? So let me show you that real quick. So if we go back here, we hit this, it'll say collected eggs, one, two, three, as you can see. Okay, once we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find an egg from the toolbox uh, just to use for this, uh, I'll use this, the egg mesh, and I am going to shrink down my part, just like this, and I'm going to put it directly above this egg mesh, and I'm just going to group these two together, and I'm going to then take my egg one prompt part, and I'm going to set the transparency to one, and I'm going to turn collisions off. Now make sure these are anchored, make sure your prompt is anchored. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside of this egg one script and I'm going to write script.parent.enabled equals false because this will disable the proximity prompt so players cannot collect the same egg twice. 
and then I want the whole thing to turn invisible or just be destroyed completely, disappear. So I'm gonna write script.parent parent parent colon destroy and this will destroy the entire model once you've collected the egg so let's test that out so as you can see collected eggs equals zero i go ahead i interact i collect the egg and the egg disappears so that's going to wrap up the video for today uh i hope this helped you guys if it did please subscribe helps me out a lot